And so I want to go over a few dreams, I believe, related to the peace treaty and that I've had over the past few weeks. I'll start out with one dream I had last night, I believe, related to the peace treaty. And um, clearly, you know, sudden destruction after the peace treaty is, um, you know, presented. Um, You know, I believe we may see it presented to the public by the Trump administration, but of course it would probably be confirmed by Antichrist Obama at a later date. But we could see it brought out to the public eye by the Trump administration publicly. Um, And I believe that's coming up, coming up probably not too long from now. And so in the dream last night, you know, what I was, I was, um, it's, it's like I was outside on the patio. And as I've said before, the Lord uses the patio in the peace treaty dreams because the derivation of the word patio, if you look at it, it means peace treaty covenant. Um, if you look at the history of the word peace treaty covenant, essentially peace agreement and patio. And so the patio on our house, I was outside on it. And the interesting thing was, it's like there were like, for some reason, this detail It's like, I can't remember. It was kind of vague. There was stuff on the patio. I want to say it was like construction materials, like maybe a big pile of them, like two by four lumber, for example. Um, Stuff you would buy at like Home Depot, for example, bulk materials. I I want to say it was like that type of stuff. I think maybe like two by four wood stuff, like a huge pile, like construction stuff. That's what I think it was, but I can't remember for certain, but it was all over the patio and... And I did notice a glass bottle of one of my family members. They'll drink a certain water, you know, large glass bottle of water. But in the in the dream, the lid was off. And I believe from my understanding, it felt like it was rainwater. Like I knew in the dream, rainwater, it was like the bottle was filled up with rainwater, which I believe is significant. But and then at a certain point, guys, so in the setting, it was pretty dreary outside, not much light, kind of, I think, overcast. And I believe the window was open. I, I think the window must have been open to one of the windows on the patio lead into the, you know, to the living room because I could hear some of my family members talking and I believe they were talking about the weather, like a storm or whatever. But here's the crazy thing. At a certain point, rapidly, dark, huge clouds started rolling in, very dark. Um, a tornado was essentially closing in out of, no, like this was like without hardly any warning, guys. So a tornado essentially starts closing in like the, I don't remember visually seeing it, but the cloud, all of a sudden the the skies turn dark, huge howling winds, like very, very fast winds. I knew I had to retreat inside because the tornado was closing in. And I think my family members were talking about like, maybe they were watching the weather or something. They probably, or whatever, knew it, you know, they were probably talking about it on the weather on the TV. But I'm like, I got to get inside. Like I had literally like seconds to get in before it was going to be too late and the tornado was going to essentially close in on me and it would be too late. So I run to the patio door. I, I get inside. I attempt to close the patio door and I'm really pushing hard in the door. The wind is so violent. I can't close the door. It took several tries and then eventually, boom, I closed it. I locked it. Then I ran to the front of the house towards, you know, my room where, you know, my room where I sleep. So I ran in there. And I immediately, I believe at this point, I got on my knees and I started praying. So at this portion of the dream, I was praying desperately, you know, for protection and so forth. Because the tornado was essentially like on top of our house or about to hit our house. And I think the shade was open too, so I could see outside the violent wind and everything. Like It was, it was bad, you know. I've never been in a tornado. Um, but we do live, you know, technically at the outer boundary at the of tor- you know the tornado alley but I, I personally I've never been on a in a tornado but this this was it was extremely violent and I was praying desperately like like you know one of those dreams where you have the like the Holy Spirit on you or you're praying like I was desperately praying in the dream okay so that's where the dream ended so very clear guys the patio the peace treaty Lord's used it before in previous dreams um now If those were construction materials, obviously the peace treaty is in the works. You know, it's in the works. It's, it's, it's currently in the works. It's, it's, it's in the works. And if those were construction materials, that would make sense, you know, in the glass bottle with rainwater. It's like, I knew, I think it was rainwater. The lid was off. I believe that represents 
you know, rain, a rainy day, that's when things go down. A rainy day, everything gets bad. Um, so if the a drinking bottle is filled with glass, uh, filled with um, rainwater, that would could indicate you know people are going to be you know judgments about to hit. People are going to be drinking, for example, symbolically rainwater, drinking judgment. They're going to be having to face judgment. The Lord's going to pour out His judgment. And the interesting thing is, um, and then of course the tornado. This was the sudden destruction. So I believe the tornado would be the sudden destruction. It came very rapidly. I had like seconds to get inside the house. I could hardly even get the door closed. And then I ran to the, my room and started praying. That sudden destruction, the tornado hit so fast, basically without warning practically. And I think in the dream, I heard the sirens off in the distance. So the, you know, the tornado storm sirens, tornado sirens, but, um, so no warning, hardly any warning. So I believe if we see this peace treaty publicly presented by the Trump administration, judgment would will probably follow soon after. So when the Bible talks about the, when they say peace and safety, you know, sudden destruction, you know, as travail upon a woman. So that that's could be referring to specifically this, this peace treaty. And so if it's publicly presented, we could see, you know, sudden destruction soon after. Now I'm curious. I, I'm, I don't know if we could we could be gone before it's presented. Some people think that's that's possible, or we could be gone soon after. In the in the in between, let's say the peace treaty and sudden destruction, we could be gone in between. Or what if we see some sudden destruction start and then we're taken out before things get really bad, which is that this dream would seem to indicate. Um, it's not necessarily necessary that we have to see the sudden destruction hit. But we could see some initial phases start. So I say keep your eyes out. If we see the peace treaty publicly presented, not fully confirmed, that will that will be by Antichrist Obama at a later date, most likely. But if we see the Trump administration bring out the details of this peace treaty that's been in the works, you know, bring it to the public eye. I think that's the time indicator. That may be what we've been waiting for. So if we see that, then figure sudden destruction is like imminent in our departure. The rapture would be imminent soon after. Or we could be taken out soon before, I believe. Um, so in the next stream I had, about probably a week ago, relating to the peace treaty once again, the um, I was in like a two-story house. So, so we live in a one-story house, but in the dream I was in like a two-story house. And I was downstairs and it was just my dad was nearby and he, he was he was looking down at something. I guess he had a piece of paper or something and he said, he said, um, I need to hurry up and get this uh, signed. I, I need to hurry up and get this signed. So I guess he was looking down at, I guess, a piece of paper. You know, I don't remember seeing the paper, but I think he was looking down. So, I, you know, I need to hurry up and get this signed. And then it's like I looked upstairs and upstairs, it was like all windows upstairs. And, and I could see out like windows all around this, the second floor facing to the outside. And it's like, you know, all lined in the upstairs. And then I could see a, um, there was a baby rabbit running around this uh, out, outside the house around the windows. So the second floor outside. So essentially the rabbit would, I guess, had to been in the air, you know, floating, but running around a small kind of baby rabbit. And then there was a bigger rabbit too, I think. And now in the backyard we do have, we, you know, we've had a little small kind of baby rabbit we've been feeding. He kind of hangs out in the backyard. And so I think in a dream, it felt like it was that rabbit, the one we've been feeding that's been kind of hanging out in our backyard. And, and so the rabbits, you know, running around, running around, I think he stretched at a certain point. And then, and then I noticed second floor upstairs on one of the, the pillars upstairs of the house support pillar, I guess, or whatever. There was a lizard, a green, I would say it looked like a lizard, some type of lizard. I don't think it was a snake. I think it had legs like a, a lizard, green, pretty large. And it like kind of, it was very creepy. I got a bad vibe, very creepy. And it, um, it kind of walked around the pillar. Maybe it was trying to hide. Maybe it had been spotted potentially. Maybe it knew I'd spotted it, but it like, it moved off. It was just creepy. I had a, not a good vibe. And then that's where the dream ended. So obviously my father, I believe either represents, you know, father God, or he could represent Donald Trump as he said, I need to hurry up and get this signed. So obviously he, whatever he was looking down at piece of paper, whatever 
referring to the peace treaty. So, the peace treaty. So, and it, it could represent the Lord, you know, or Father God, because, you know, I, I believe, the, you know, the Lord's in full control. They, they keep saying, we're going to, you know, release the peace treaty, you know, this, this, this. Then they delay, delay, delay. Well, it's not going to be released until the Lord is prepared for to be released. Because he's ultimately in full control. So, I believe my dad could represent Father God, and maybe now he's going to speed up the process to where that thing is presented and we you know we're raptured out of here and all you know everything hits the fan and goes down or it could represent trump you know that trump's gonna be speeding it up but either way the lord is in control and i believe that thing's getting ready to be presented soon um you know brought to the public eye and and even even i had a sister and a um sister in christ or someone someone commented this morning on my channel about the whole the the peace treaty thing and i'm like whoa i just had a dream about that so but um so that dream and then the rabbit i had the rabbit the baby rabbit in the a previous peace treaty dream and it was like flying around the house and it went outside i locked it outside on the patio so the baby rabbit that could reference um spring when rabbits and animals are made in and having babies so that could represent spring for example or since I felt the rabbit was the rabbit that's currently in our backyard, and since it was still small, you know, baby kind of size small, that could be a time marker indicating soon. Because, you know, you know, a long time from now, that rabbit is going to be grown up and large. But it felt like it was the same rabbit, and it was still relatively small. And, the, you know, that would indicate the peace treaty stuff being presented soon. And, um, but... And then the lizard, obviously Antichrist, kind of like trying to hide. It was, it was very, uh, something creepy about it. I didn't get good vibes, very uh, creepy. And I'm um, crawling on the pillar of the house. And this was all on, that was on the second floor. That all took place on the second floor. Me and my dad were on the first floor. And so I was thinking, I'm like, well, that dream, the, the second floor could represent I'm wondering if it could represent maybe us being gone before, you know, the peace treaty is presented. That's kind of what I was getting, you know, the second floor, everything. And, you know, I'm, I'm thinking that could represent like, you know, what if we're out of here right before, you know, Trump presents it, brings it to the public eye. Um, that, that dream kind of had me thinking about that, but obviously, you know, I need to hurry up and get this signed. That's the peace treaty. It's time for, you know, it to be presented. Things to start going through. Um, let's see, what else? And then the other, and then I had another um, dream related to, this was probably two to four weeks ago. And I, and I was in a, in a car, a brother in Christ was driving. I was in the passenger seat, front seat. And we were at like, I think a stop line. He was pretty much saying the, the, you know, the peace treaty, this is it. Like, this is when it goes down. Everything breaks loose. Pretty much saying, you know, that's when it all goes down. That's that's pretty much the sum of what we were talking about. And I think after he said that, he... It's like, I think, I believe the light turned green because then we were able to go through the, the stoplight, you know. It must have turned green. Which could represent... That one could... In, that dream could indicate, you know, we're waiting on the peace treaty. So when that is publicly presented, brought to the public eye... That could represent the, um, you know, then we could go. You know, it was then the car I noticed we could go. It must have been a green light or whatever. And the, um, you know, and he was pretty much saying that's what we've been waiting. Or, yeah, pretty much like that. That's when it all goes down. Kind of like that's what we've been looking for. That's when it goes down, the peace treaty. So that can end in the case us being here when it is presented. Um, and the last peace treaty dream I've had in the past several weeks this one i had um a few weeks ago probably three to four weeks ago again and i never shared this one but uh, you know one detail is kind of strange but i'll explain it but in the dream i was in the living room a couple of my family members were in there too they had the tv on they were sitting on the sofa watching the tv i was standing next to the tv and what was on the tv was perverted garbage um i believe it were lesbians maybe kissing or something lesbianism lesbians um, there may have been gay stuff there. There was also, I believe, uh, perverted stuff related to children. It was all perversions, perverted stuff. And 
I was watching, you know, I was like, I didn't like seeing this. Like I would see it and I think I would look away momentarily, see it look away because I didn't want to watch it. You know, I'd see a portion of it look away. And then one of my, and then as I was doing this, um, I remember I was blurting out like America destroyed something like that. America, um, pretty much was it America burned or Amer- America destroyed. I think it was something like America destroyed. I would blurt that out like America destroyed, um, repeatedly and and um and then one of my family members I think they were like oh like ooh, I don't really like this or uh like they didn't like it which kind of actually that family member is kind of like uh, yeah there's some lukewarmness like maybe they weren't as assertive as, as they should have been like I was saying America destroyed like rapidly and then the other family member wasn't saying any, anything which makes sense that family member's all on board with the gay stuff and all of that you know, the stuff that's going on. They're, they're not saved, um, unfortunately. But so at that point, then I go, I find myself, the scene changes. I'm on the patio, which is of the house of our house, which is adjacent to the living room, you know, the windows to the living room. I'm on the patio. And then I notice I'm once again, I'm hearing no TV from the noise, like in that other dream. And I was hearing, um, um, you know, the window must have been open. I could hear like they were still watching the TV. And then I notice I'm in my underwear, guys, on the patio. I didn't have a sh- t-shirt, no shirt on, no pants. I just had underwear. And I'm looking down and then I notice this is where it gets kind of weird, but you'll understand as I explain. I notice a portion of my underwear was missing, like was cut out and I could see my private parts in the dream. It was a segment of my underwear was cut out and I could see my private parts or it was like a flap cut out. And then I hear on the TV through the windows, I'm on the patio, almost naked, no shirt, no pants, just underwear. And then my underwear have a cutout so I can see my private parts. And then I'm hearing the window must have been open. I hear the TV noise coming through the window onto the patio. And it's like a news broadcast saying the news broadcaster, I believe a guy was saying uh, Kelly Clarkson has been charged with multiple counts of murder or convicted convicted or charged it had been found out sh- that she had committed multiple counts of murder and the voice was talking about kelly like kelly clarkson the singer and that's where the dream ended now it's interesting obviously the the um you know initial portion the perversions on the tv that's the state of america it's perverted the stuff i was seeing was perversions that's why america is about to be destroyed this nation is full of sin it's going to be judged and destroyed in one hour then I find myself on the patio. This is interesting. No shirt, no pants, underwear. My underwear have a, a, a cutout in them. I can see my private parts. That right there is your, um, I believe, the peace treaty being revealed. You're, you're basically naked. You're revealed. The cutout in my underwear, seeing my private parts, that's reveal. Revealing your private parts, that's revealing the peace treaty. All at the same time, I believe it has a dual meaning of our transformation. No pants, no, no um, shirt on us being transformed, receiving our glorified bodies. So I believe there's a dual meaning of the peace treaty being revealed and then us being transformed. And then when I'm here, I heard the noise through the, uh, the window, the TV was on, they were saying the broadcaster was saying Kelly Clarkson has been, I believe convicted or charged, caught in multiple counts of murder. Like it was a lot, like it felt like it was like, she was like found out she was like a serial killer or something it was really weird but when i looked this up this is interesting guys kelly clarkson the singer she's the first winner of american idol you know the tv series the american idol the first ever winner and and the thing is american idol i knew right away she represents america so american idol well what is an idol we know america is filled with idols the the people here in america they worship idols that they're most of them have their idols, sports, um, figures, movie figures, singers, TV, movie, whatever, um, what have you, uh, cigarettes, booze, anything, everything but God. So America is filled with idols. So American Idol, I knew I'm like, okay, she represents America. And then I found out the her name, Kelly, I believe when I looked it up, it means war. So the name Kelly means war. So I knew right away she represents America. America will be destroyed by war. 
nuclear war and you know likely by Russia one hour fire nuclear bombs this nation is going to be destroyed rapidly and so that's that's why she had been it said she had been charged with multiple counts of murder or found out she had been discovered she had been um, committed multiple counts multiple murders and I believe she'd been charged or something that's that's America has been the sins are filled to the brim like a serial killer multiple murders i mean that's like america has basically been convicted of multiple murders in the eyes of um the lord severe judgment you know it's going to be severely judged and destroyed um by war and so that that's the dream is very clear and so now that time in is interesting I, i'm seeing all it all going it's transpiring all around the same time frame you know on the patio no cloven basically just underwear then I can see my private parts. That's the peace treaty transformation at the same time. So peace treaty presented when we're looking at rapture transformation at the same time. Don't know the specific order. And then the war. The war seemed to be the last thing on the TV about Kelly Clarkson, which I believe means the war will follow. It's going to follow after the rapture and the peace treaty. So that ties into.